Americans quite often do not accept that, but the fact is that um, even in the US, if you go and start looking what is the background of Apple or background of many other ICT or, or IT companies, you will find military spending and military expenditures behind those success stories. And, and they are governmental money. Or if you look at uh, Nokia's success story, which was mentioned today, without GSM standard adopted in Copenhagen 1987, the whole story had never been able to be, to be done. So standard setting power is critical. Uh, I don't know if you are familiar with the, with the latest big uh, success story of Finland. It's a, it's, a, it's a company which was founded three years ago. It's called Supercell. It's an internet game, gaming company, which was originally based on Nokia's decision in 2002 to start producing devices for gaming. Engage. Two years later, Nokia recognized that this is not our business. But during that two years, Tekes, the Finnish governmental agency, decided that when there is going to be a platform, we should be able to initiate some content for that platform. And they started game program. Few millions, 10, 15 million, I don't know exact figure, but something like that was spent for that. And when Nokia decided to leave, Tekes came to the conclusion that we don't stop. We continue financing these companies. And now Angry Birds is one result of that. You all know that it's a global big brand. But Supercell is not that known. But uh, can you imagine what was the market cap of that company when 50% or 51% of that was sold last two weeks ago on Monday? Three billion. US dollars. And these guys who invented that, they said, now we are happy and ready to pay back. So they wanted to pay taxes and they said, we are happy. We are happy to pay taxes because we feel that that money was so critical for, for the success of this company. So what I'm saying is that smart government is what is needed. Not big or small, but smart. Music